Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a pale skin and makeup tutorial today. I hope you like it and let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So as per usual, I'm going to start off with priming my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is a beautiful color match to my non-fake tan skin. It covers up all of the veins and stuff and also makes the eyeshadow go on a lot more pigmented. So just setting that with a powder and moving on straight to eyeshadow. I'm using my Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette today and I'm just picking up this nice pinky shade and I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So taking it in my crease from inner to outer corner and making it nice and blown out. After I keep packing it on, I'll take a fluffier brush and blend, blend, blend until it's nice and seamless. Now taking a, a warm brown shade, I'm going to put this in the crease as well, but I'm not going to take it as high as I took the transition shade. So just to add some nice warmth and depth to the look. And now I'm going to take this beautiful champagne shimmery shade and I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on my brush to make sure it's super wet and pigmented and whoa was that pigmented. So just putting this all over my lid and it just makes the eyes stand out so incredibly much. Next thing I'm doing is taking this nice deep dark brown plummy kind of shade and I'm just going to pack this on the outer third of my eye just to make it more smoky and of course cleaning up that eyeshadow with a q-tip. When I have pale skin, I always like to make my foundation look super dewy just so I look healthy and glowy because I feel like when I'm pale, I look a bit dead. So this is a must for me. This is my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer and I love it so much. For foundation, I'm taking the Astralis O Glow and a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I wanted a shade darker than my neck just so I could bring it down a little bit to add a tiny bit of color because girl this is a really big difference to when I have fake tan on just a quick little disclaimer I personally use fake tan because it makes me feel more confident I fake tan once a week and this is the palest I've been in quite some time so I thought I may as well film while I was pale um, but I have nothing against pale skin I think it looks beautiful I just personally feel more confident with tan skin time for concealer I'm taking my LA girl pro conceal in the shade of porcelain when I'm really fair I do notice my circles are a bit more noticeable because there's no tan over the top of them or anything like that so this is a beautiful shade to keep them nice and highlighted and just looking very fresh so just blending that out with a beauty beauty blender as per usual I need to get more I have like I think I've got one I just I just lose them all it's like they go rolling off my balcony or something I have no idea now taking my Astralis Banana Powder, I'm using this to set all of my concealer. I'm only setting under my eyes and down the center of my face just because I want the rest of the skin to be glowy, so I didn't set that at all. But this powder is really good, especially to keep things nice and highlighted. Again, taking my transition shade, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line from inner corner to outer corner, just make it nice and blown out so we can proportion the top lid to the lower lash line. And then taking the warm brown and just focusing that on the outer third. Now highlighting my waterline with my Tarte Inner Rim Liner. Somehow I managed to poke my eyebrow. I don't know how that happened. But this makes my eyes look a little bit bigger and this is so pigmented. It's definitely the best cream colored eyeliner I I've ever used now taking that shimmery shade once again I'm just gonna highlight under my eyebrow and girl this was pigmented again wow whoops so making sure to blend out that highlighter so it blends in with the eyeshadow and it's not too harsh next thing I'm doing is taking the makeup geek eyeshadow in the shade shimmer shimmer this is even more intense than the other one I just used so I wanted something a bit more highlighty so this is perfect next thing I'm doing is taking my essence eyebrow styler set and just filling in my brows as per usual I like to make my arch a bit bigger make my tail a bit longer and just to find them a bit more now it's time for mascara so this one is the physicians former Wow! Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara. So just coating my top and bottom lashes with this to prep them for some falsies. 
And then it's time to contour. I had to find the lightest contouring shade in my collection and I finally found one and this was a great match. So this is the NYX contour palette. So just putting this under my cheekbones and then I'm going in with some bronzer. So this is the Betty Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just using a very, very light hand with this because it is extremely pigmented and probably a little bit too dark for my skin. But I mean, I always want that JLo glow no matter what skin color I have. And then taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, I'm just going to bake under my contour to make sure the line is super neat and to make it look even more dramatic without adding any more contour. <laughs> Now it's time to add these beautiful lashes. These are the Huda, oh, I always stuffed up. Huda Beauty Lashes. That's such a tongue twister. Um, these ones have a very thick band, so they're not as comfortable as like the thin wired bands, but they do look a hundred times better because they're dramatic. And these ones I'm pretty sure like double layered. So they're just super incredible. Now taking some Physician's Formula blush. I think adding blush kind of pulls the whole look together just because my skin is so fair. It's just adding some color and life back into my skin. So this one is shimmery. I like to keep the whole face shimmery because I want to look glowy. So just wiping that bakage off and then it's time to add some highlighter. So this is the Laura Mercier highlighter. Um, I'll leave the name of it down below. I'm not too sure what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's new though. And oh, I was really happy about this highlighter. It looks so stunning. I also sprayed some MAC Fix Plus on my brush as well to make it even more intense. Um, so just putting it on my cheekbones and also on my forehead, down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow. I went a little bit overboard and that's, that's the spirit. Now taking my NYX retractable lip liner in the shade Coco, you know, just doing my thing, outlining my lips. And then taking my Ofra Long Lasting Little Lipstick in the shade Honolulu. I'm just filling in my lips with this stuff. It is very quite dry compared to normal liquid lipsticks, but it's also really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't like grow crusty or anything, so I really like the formula of this stuff. And it also lasts a really long time, which is amazing. So lastly, I'm going to put some lip gloss on. This is the Balm Lip Gloss. I just like having glossy lips for some reason. I'm just going through a phase, I think. So there we have the finished makeup look. I hope you guys loved it and I hope you learned a few things here and there and I'll be doing a bronzy makeup tutorial very soon as well. So keep your eye out for that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.